Hello everyone, welcome back to Rome 2. And it is of course the single player uh, House of Julia campaign. So you can see here that these guys are going to run into a little bit of a problem shortly. Yeah, let's go and hit them, shall we? No, can't do that yet. Okay. There won't be much of a problem. Okay. These guys will move into Numantia. And we shall now end the turn. So for those of you who are not aware, this is the, the current layout of the map. And you can see that essentially I've sort of secured these areas, dealt with Carthage. I've got non-aggression pack with Athens and Sparta. Even though Athens is starting to get a little bit worrisome. And I have non-aggression packs with these guys. So I'm pretty much focusing my attention on Spain and the Celtiberian Federation who have been essentially suing for peace multiple times even though they attacked me um so it's a case of well you know you guys attack me you you live by the sword you die by the sword so i keep suing for peace and i keep saying no so let's move on to the next turn now as you can see, the Athenians are up to something. Up to no good in the neighbourhood, maybe? It's difficult to say, but... We shall wait and see what happens. Okay. Yep, that look, uh, Yeah, that looks alright, I suppose. Hmm. <sighs> Fun and games. Anyway. Sorry, I apologise if the sound sounds a little bit thing. Um, my, I just noticed the um, the VU meter seemed a little bit low, so I'm wondering if my volume needs increasing a little bit, so you guys can actually hear me a little bit better. So I apologise if the sound varies a little bit, but let me know what it's like and how it runs. Now, the respectful admiral, good. Aha, they're doing an end around. So, we will block them. And we will move in behind them. And so what happens is we, unless we can bring up forces from here, which we can't, uh, we could have essentially blocked them in. Yeah, those guys are staying there. Nemantia will be the trouble populace. Yeah, as expected. Let's build that. And change that around, so. Nothing really we can do at the moment. Ready for order. For death and honor. So we've got these guys moving up, and these guys moving up. So let's see what happens. trouble is I could potentially have a revolt in Nemantia uh, before I've actually managed to deal with these two armies and that could actually be a problem so we'll wait and see what happens with that one I don't know how that's going to progress you ain't getting what you want sunshine there we go see they just keep moving it around. <laughs> hmm. I'm just wondering, while they're moving those armies around, maybe I could possibly use that to push in and attack the enemy towns. Give them a problem there. Because if it means that I can actually do that, we could be on a winner. Let's see. So, how far can he get? And then this little fella here can move to there. Now, see, this is the problem. Right, let's get that in and 
Yeah, we can't do that one yet. So hopefully, that should improve the situation. Meanwhile, we're going to take these guys out of this stance. There we go. And move them down to here. And attack. No, we can't attack. We'll have to leave them there. Okay. Let's end the turn and move on. Because I'm trying to hunt these two armies down and they're just literally constantly backing off. And I can't go into Force March because that would give me too much of a disadvantage if I go in uh, against them in Force March mode. Aha! This has the potential. Bingo! Yeah, this could be interesting. He's supported by that, and we've got 2,000, so... Let's kick some bottom, shall we? Light hilly forest. Hmm. We have cavalry. We have legionaries. Hmm. I wonder. We also have the Omega. So it might be interesting to see if we can actually um, savage these guys and then use that as a way to go into Hadashd and take Hadashd at the same time. That would be helpful. But we'll just have to see if anything comes of that. Okie dokie. Why did that go backwards? I swear that went backwards. Thank you. Okay. Well, it's definitely hilly. I'll give them that. So. If we... Put... These little fellows... Here. Actually, like so. And then this one at the front. We shall move these guys up and we shall have these guys to support. Clifty Clops on the right, Clifty Clops on the left. General, right now, so what is the range of these things? Okay, so just out of range, so... Hmm, I wonder... If maybe... They would be better suited... There. Let's see, what kind of range does that give us? Yeah, we get them within range then. So if we were to do that, and then have these guys there, which means I want these guys here to defend it, my first cohort veg uh, veterinary legionaries. So we'll put those to one, and let's see what happens, shall we? Oh boy. So let's see. Iberian Slingers. Oh, no. Let's go for these guys first, I think. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Well, good for the enemy reinforcements. Send those guys out there. Send those guys out to there. <laughs> oh! Oh, baby. What can they throw? Poison round. No, I want you to stop. I don't want you to go any further.
Okay. They're doing damage to these buggers. Oh yes, we're definitely doing damage to these buggers. go. Only two remaining. And they're all backing off to find the other army. Here we go. Let's see if we can get those onagers in there. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Yep, yeah, one down. Completely finished. Let's see what happens. Those guys are taking fire from somewhere. So, let's move these guys up, I think. And get these guys to follow. Do me. Oh, poison as well to add to the fun. <laughs> right, let's switch that off and put them in the standard rounds. Oh, hello. Hmm. See if we can fire some lovely stuff at these guys. Right. These guys are taking fire. There we go. guys back move these guys in we have discovered the enemy's hidden units come on lads get in there <laughs> Come on, Onagers. Ah, damn it. What's the Onagers? Never mind.
Oh, level cap. Come on. Move in. Guys, back in there. Let's put them back on explosive shot. Ooh, lovely. Naval cavalry is starting to die. There we go. All over. Fortunately, lost more there than I would have liked, but the point is they held their line. It's kind of what we were after, really. So, he lost 1,600 men, we only lost 600, so. Okay. Goodbye. You have further orders? Yeah, you damn well they do. See, these guys are continuing to give me the runaround right now. Hmm. Okay, so, military traditions, Ready for orders. good, so let's get them a military tradition, formidable fighters, accomplished skirmishers, formidable fighters, and our general can have... Shield bearer and cunning. Hmm. What? Not quite right. That's a bit of a worry. So Nemantia has now got a Roman hamlet, although it is close to having problems with other things. Let's see. Let us Come, fight for Rome. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this guy in forced march down to here. And we're gonna bring this guy. down to here so hopefully we can cut them off but these guys we're gonna send forced march up to Nemantia to reclaim the situation up there and we can see Okay. So, expenditure. Trade is okay. Let's see what happens. See if we get a little bit more money. Okay. Send the turn. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Bloody knew it. Little bastards. Gonna have to close in on number three armies. Is anyone gonna stop them? Oh, God. So, who died? Great. He's a good guy to have there. He's a good guy to have. So. Ready for battle. So take this guy off of Force March. And get him there. We hunger for battle. Take this guy off of Force March. Get him in there. There we go, that improves things. And this guy. Get him back there. And now we have some money. So we can start boosting up these guys. We hunger for battle. And now we're going to bring these guys into the battle as well. Because I want to deal with these annoying people. And then. I can send whoever I want into Tarako, Ars, and Hadashed. Because right now they're giving me the runaround and they're really starting to annoy me, those bastards. Bar stewards, a lot of them. Can't trust those bar stewards. Just. Untrustworthy buggers. So I offer this morsel now, like a wolf at the door. Perhaps you I'm a wolf at your door. Which basically means I'm gonna eat you. And that's if I'm in a good mood. <clears throat> Which is a possibility that I may not be. See, these are the risks that you take. Population surplus. Magna Gratia. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Brindisium. Let's expand Brindisium. <coughs> Excuse me. Faction joins the war. Oh. Okay. Character trait. What? Why is he... Ready for orders. Dangerous. Hmm. <clears throat> we shall see. God, this cough is going to annoy me. <coughs> Excuse me while I die. So, now that these guys are pinned in here, maybe I can lock them in. Ready for battle. 
Let's move this guy to here and put him into ambush. Hmm. They'll stay there until we get a positive level. Um, let's see, what else do we have? A Resilium is a Rhone Town um, village. Okay. <coughs> it's really annoying when you get that cough that's just like sort of halfway between where your stomach is and where your mouth is. It's like that sort of point in the middle and it's just tickly enough that every time you cough, nothing happens. <coughs> and it doesn't get rid of that bloody phlegm that's sort of sitting sitting there and annoying the living piss out of you but never mind let's see if we can trade with anybody shall we? Hmm. well met friend sit and let your words move me to anger or agreement hmm. okay don't accept my goods then Okay, so I'm trading with pretty much everybody who likes me. So, don't have to worry about that for the time being. Here. Let's see if we can recruit some more Velites. Oh, we want heavy onagers as well, don't we? Yeah, we've really got heavy onagers in there. So, this guy here. Hmm. He could conceivably go to there. So we'll keep him there. Can't upgrade anybody right now. So he's in ambush mode. He is bringing Numantia back up and running to a suitable level. In which case he can stay out of that stance. This guy is going to attack there. And hopefully block them in. We shall wait and see. The Spartan Navy. What are the Greeks up to? I wonder. It does make you think, doesn't it? The Swaby. Oh, it looks like the Averni's already been... Have they been? Yeah, the Averni's been wiped out. Hmm. So the Celtiberian Federation did not move anywhere. Which is a good thing, because they can't really. Good. Research. Faction destroyed. The Del Mate. Good. Now. Let's deal with these troublesome little fellows, shall we? Ready for battle. Victory for Rome. Let's go with that one. Like Gnaeus Niger. Ooh. That was pretty brutal. Kill them all. Well done, Gnaeus. Good job, mate. So, he now has a sword maiden wife. And, let's see. Ten percent tariff. That's zeal and authority. I don't have that one yet. Let's go for cunning. So he can now go into forced march mode, and he will probably be able to attack the town of Ars. 
Should just have to wait and see. But where is he going to come at us from? Yes, the rear. I'm aware of that. Let's send him over here. And he can go down and attack that way. Now, this fella can be put into the forced march mode and can now move over to here. And then we shall send him down to say hello to Tarako. Or at least maybe we'll see. So, Numantia has a Roman village. Now if I move him out, no, minus five. Got to leave him in there for the time being. But let's see. Hmm. Now we'll leave that for the moment. And we'll continue building up this army here. I'm glad you think so. Okay, so I'm going to need some equitos next, I think. Right, what research options do we have? to think that we're going to need things like financial aspects so we can yeah going to go for that one I think okay that's going to be 10 turns and it now means then that the likes of these guys And go up against Hadashed. Now, what does Hadashed have? 13. Yeah, see, lots of skirmish of tribesmen and swordsmen. And I've got <coughs> a lot. With, obviously, other forces coming into play. So let's end the turn. And then I think that will bring the episode to a close for this week. Yep. Them Greeks are definitely up to something. I'm wondering if it's only a matter of time before they actually attack me. We'll have to check out the map to see how the map looks, but that's a distinct possibility. Oakley Doakley. Let's see. Wow. Offer this morsel. No. You guys just don't know when to quit, do you? You really don't. You brought this on yourself. Oh, there's Iobossum over there, so I'd have to send my troops over to Iobossum and take them out as well. But we can do that off the back of ours. <sighs> Who is the troubled populace? Okay, so they're troubled. So if we increase, do that... And then, hmm, I'll put a villa in there as well. Good, household has expanded, trait has been gained, quartermaster's report. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is this week's episode. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again more, or see you again very soon for more Rome 2. Take care, everyone. Cheers, guys.